clouds are made of water. Rain is made of water. Water is wet. Whoa! You're a miracle worker. Is it an orange or is it a ball? short and rounded, while mountains are tall and pointy. Just If a tree is tall enough, yeah. can you call it a mountain? No, mountains are very tall and pointy, but trees are fluffy. Hills are rounder, but trees are rounder too. But hills are not fluffy, trees are. Mm. <laughs> what if it didn't have to be like this? What if there was a better school? And there'd be a big screen TV, a big place to lounge around in, a CD player, several game consoles, bookshelves full of movies and books. Ah, and I think there'd be another area where I could play pool, air hockey, and ping pong. Yeah, about like that. And then, when I really wanted to get down to business and study, I could go across the hall and study in two study rooms and do group projects and whatnot and there would be a computer lab right there full of computers for my computing enjoyment. Hey, here's the guys for That's a file. You can use it to open doors. See? The file opened the door. Hey, wasn't there a girl's floor? Oh, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh -huh. Hey, it doesn't work. Ha uh ha. -huh. Go away, Nobby. And I live in a super cool dorm room, too. How's it going, Steve? Pretty good. Wow, there's lots of desk space in here. And storage space, too. Oh, yeah. This is all pretty nice, but I think it needs some decorating. Okay. Intermission! All right, everybody, let's meet the RCs. Hi, I'm Lisa. I'm Neil. Hi, I'm Rebecca. Yeah. 
Hi, I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Lori. It's over. Boy, was I in a pickle. I thought they picked roommates based on common interests, but this guy's totally whack. What was the boy to do but redecorate and wait it out? Hey, Steve! Hey, roommate. Man, this is a whole lot better. No kidding. Now we have lofts, refrigerators, computers galore. Wow. I think I'm going to go check out the rest of the campus now. Okay, Steve! There'd be a library across the street. The library would be stocked full with a plethora of resources for learning, such as huge computer labs, knowledgeable librarians, microfiche, and oh yeah, lots of books. This makes my old high school library look like a cardboard box with books in it. This is a spectral fluorometer. The point of the machine is to take the light that is emitted from the tungsten lamp inside, have it interact with your sample, and then pick it up on this side. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at the light from the hydrogen lamp. Okay, as you can see, it's red to the eye, but when we put it in front of the machine, it begins to take our spectrum. Along with great residential life, there would have to be great academics. No more boring, slow-paced elementary coursework. My perfect school would have meaningful and challenging classes with lots of hands-on work in labs where I would validate concepts covered in lecture. 486. And then the last one should be at about 656. There'd be a great cafeteria, and these guys would be good. I could eat in peace. It does exist. <laughs>